Tell us where you grew up, where you uh, live, how you got involved in baseball. Well, I was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, moved uh, to Texas when I was in third grade and, and grew up in Texas, a little small town outside of Houston called Deer Park. And, uh, you know, just lived there with my, my mom, my dad. I got one sister that's older than me and, and just loved to play baseball. And uh, I accepted Christ when I was 11 years old and changed my life forever whenever that happened. Um, just the greatest thing that has ever happened to me. Uh, when I was 15 years old, I met my now wife of 20 years. Uh, and she was 14. Were you all allowed to date then? Oh yeah, yeah, we were allowed to date. <laughs> this is a Christian home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. her father was the pastor actually. So. Oh. oh, these yeah. were church dates. Yeah. I got you. We got to go hang out at church together. Um, mom chauffeured us around. <laughs> took me home and came and picked me up. So uh, just, you know, was drafted by the Yankees out of high school. Went to junior college for one year. Uh, signed with the Yankees um, after that year at junior college at San Jacinto Junior College. Uh, went on to play three years in the minor leagues with the Yankees and, and made my big league debut in 1995. And um, I've got four children. I've got an 18-year-old boy, a 15-year-old boy, an 11-year-old girl, and a 7-year-old boy. Uh, my oldest boy signed to go play baseball at Baylor, so he'll be pitching for Baylor, the Baylor Bears next year. And uh, it's crazy, it's a crazy life. I retired for one year, uh, <laughs> 2011, and uh, you know. What led you to come back, Andy? Everybody asked you, I know you've yeah, been asked that 150,000 times, but. Brian Cashman called me in November of last year and just said, hey, I just wanna let you know if you have any interest at all in coming back and pitching, that uh, we would love to have you back. And, uh, offered me $12 million to come back and play, and I said, well, let me pray about it. <laughs> How long was that prayer? Well, it was obviously way too long. Because <laughs> three months later, I signed for $2.5 million. <laughs> the next time you ever make a decision like that, call Lou first. I told him that I needed to pray about it and see if it's something I felt like I could do. I mean, I hadn't pitched in a year. I hadn't even worked out. So I was like, how do I even know if I could do this still? So that was the story. It was hey, a pretty man. good story. Hey, Andy, let me, uh, that was a good story. I don't know if it's true, but it's, <laughs> it's a great story. It's true. Watch out. I hear you. Uh, Andy, I know Jesus Christ is the most important thing in your life. I've asked you this before. How do you balance your Christian walk with your professional career, with your marriage, and with your family, especially the younger ones that you have at home still? Well, it's very difficult, and that was for sure one of the reasons why you know I retired. Um, trying to balance that, I felt like I had missed. I, I'd never seen my son, uh, my older boy, pitch, really. Uh, I hadn't had a chance to see him pitch in high school. And... Um, just felt like I was missing out on an awful lot. So uh, the year that I did retire, I would have to say the biggest pull was, you know, the family. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife just feeling like that, I think that she was a little ran down, a little beat up, trying to get four kids here and there and, and me being gone. Um, I, I know that I was, I was beat up and ran down. I was flying home every off day, uh, you know, from... 2006 to 2010 for those four years and obviously I'm not getting any younger I'm getting older and I think I get a little jet lag a little bit more but I would fly home from New York get home at two in the morning you know try to take the kids to school and then have to fly back to New York the same day or that night late and uh, or meet the team wherever they were and just kind of trying to balance it that way right. and then spending the summers with the family coming up and stuff like that but but God is good. I mean, he, he's, uh, he's protected my kids and, and taken care of my wife. And it's been, a tough, uh, it's been a tough juggling act. But I feel like that, you know, I'm right where he wants me to be. And, and I'm trying 
and obviously the older I get, yeah. to try to be aware of every opportunity that comes along where I can share and, 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 and uh, maybe just sit down and have conversations with people you know, about mm -hmm. Christ that, that maybe I wouldn't have 12 years ago or so. Mm -hmm. So God's just giving me some great opportunities and, and just and just loving being back in baseball right now. I want to ask this for all the men in the room. How do you keep yourself pure and holy out on that road? Well, um, I, I think it all started when I was young, you know. Um, at, you know, I, I know I got a lot of people praying for me and, and asking God to protect me. Um, at, at a very young age, I, I had the ability, I think, to, to stand on my own and not go out and run around with my buddies in high school and when I was in college and then in the minor leagues. I, I just... I knew that if I put myself in a bad position, it was going to end up bad. So I, I just, I tried to, you know, a lot of, a lot of nights in the hotel room sitting there by myself and, and, and I was good with it, you know, and, and I think you got to be good with it. I just, I really believe that you can't put yourself in bad situations. And, um, and so, you know, that's what I've tried to do as much as I possibly can. Uh, I love, you know, my wife, I would never want to do anything to jeopardize that trust uh, that we have and, and that relationship that we have. And I, I love her more today than, than I did the day we got married, uh, without a doubt. And um, I'm blessed to have her. But, you know, that's that's how I've been able to do it. And for me, too, it's just great. I, I, the one great thing about being on the road, and even when I come down here to spring training, I feel like that, you know, I, my family's here, I miss them. But it gives me even more opportunity. I feel like to get closer to God, and, and it kind of gets me prepared. I think for the long for the long season. Amen. Uh, Andy, one last question. I want to turn it over to you. You went on a missions trip and things with your family, but competitively, how do you carry Christ out on that ball field? Because somebody wrote a rule that in order to be a baseball player, you got to drop f bombs about every two seconds. Am I right? Yeah. Well, how do you avoid that rule? Well, I mean, how do you keep it? How do you keep it there? Because anybody that's seen you pitch knows we don't we don't have to worry. Now you're a pretty intense guy, yeah. and you got to balance that. But how does Christ help you out on that field when you're competing? Well, you you do have to balance balance it, and believe me, I've wanted to. I wanted to let some stuff fly. That's for sure. You know, so let's, let's not hang out all the dirty laundry. Let's just, no, let's go ahead and get that out of there. Let's just go ahead. But I know that people are watching me, and, and, and I want to be a testimony uh, to, especially kids. If any kids are watching me, I, I want to I want to honor God and. And I, and I do. I feel like that I bring as much as intensity out on the mound as any other pitcher in, in the big leagues. But I, I feel like that you can do that uh, in a godly way. And, and I can carry myself in the clubhouse uh, around all the other players in a godly way. And and, and it's it, it's just cool. I mean, it's uh, so God's just. I feel like He's given me a, a, an unbelievable ability to be able to stand on my own. And I, and I, and I just believe it's from. At a real young age, a ton of people mm -hmm. praying for me and instilling some some strength in me in, mm -hmm. in that sense. And, uh, you know, Satan's constantly trying to tear us down and bring us down and try to get us anywhere that he can. And, and I just pray that I'll just always be able to try to hold my testimony for God. Amen. Andy, I know a few years ago you went on a missions trip. You brought your family down there. I know that experience. And you know, I'm not here promoting score, but my boss is here, so I got to promote score. But uh, no, we're proud of proud of what Score International does. But tell us about that experience with you and your boys. Well, it was it was a great trip. Um, I had never been on a a, a a missions trip before. I just had never had the opportunity to. And uh, man, it, it's just it was just great to be able to go down there to be able to, you know. To share uh, the game that me and my my kids love, uh, baseball, and obviously what I do to be able to go down there and share it with, with other uh, you know people, and to make an impact um, in, in the lives over in Dominican, mm -hmm. we're, we're just a blessing. My kids will never forget it. Um, they absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. um, it. It was it was wonderful for me to bring be able to bring my two boys over there because. We are so blessed over here, and I mean, obviously, I've been so blessed financially, and you want to instill certain things in your kids, 
and and I spoil them. I, I know to, to all get out, but you you know you also want them to see, you know how blessed they are. And, and when you go over there and you do that, it, it opens their eyes and and um, and also gives. I I, I loved it because I was able to let my kids, you know, to see them have a, a, a little bit of a servant's heart to go over there and to, to play with the kids and. Whether it was just playing kickball with them, or you know, loving on, on little kids, or whatever that wanted to hold them, um, man, my kids just absolutely loved it. And you know, we didn't get an opportunity to go this past year because I was doing some some things with my oldest boy for college and stuff like that. But uh, I know that that, that they they, they want to go back. I was able to bring one of my uh, son's friends with us. And he's not even part of my family, but he's wondering when we're going to be going back, you know. And uh, it was just it was just a blessing for me and my, my kids, that's for sure. And you pitched a game there. I did. And yeah. a guy got a hit off of you. Yeah. And then yeah. what did you do the next thing? You picked yeah, him off. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Kid was crying and didn't even listen to the presentation after the game. But let's not worry about that. I'm sure he's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, thank you so much for who you are. Thank you for representing Christ on that baseball field, and thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.